Tom here from Lauren Systems. Actually, let's do that again. Tom here from Lauren Systems, and this is a Synology BC500 camera. All right, and that was recorded on a Synology camera model BC500. Synology has recently released two cameras, the BC500 and the TC500. They're getting into the camera market, which I think is kind of interesting, and we don't know the prices. It's too early to tell. They just released these on March 22nd of 2023. Yes, they did send this camera to me a little bit early. No, this is not a sponsored review, but we are a Synology reseller. Therefore, we reach out to them and they let us see new products just with an embargo of when we can talk about them on my channel. Now, my testing so far has gone really well. Granted, we just tested in the office, so this is more of a basic test. In camera, it does have vehicle and person detection, loitering and intrusion detection. It does have a really nice integration with Synology. So when you're setting it up, it's really simple and all the controls become right in Synology Surveillance Station. Specifically, you do require Surveillance Station version 9.1 to get this working. But we did do a little bit of people testing and had it watching the office and all that went really well. I am going to be working on a longer term test and that longer term test is going to be testing it outside because although the build quality feels really good, I want to know how it actually holds up. Because as an installer and integrator, when we install these on different buildings or different outdoor locations, Sometimes that requires a lift and you certainly don't want to have to lift back up to there to replace a camera because of a weather seal going bad. So I'll be doing a longer term review and following it up on the channel. And that's probably going to work out well because as of right now, I don't see these out on the market available for purchase anywhere. Maybe by the time you're watching this video, they are. But I figured, hey, when I do the longer term video, that'll be a better time when these cameras are more available. Now, the video quality is good and I would say the audio quality is good, maybe even really good. I was shocked at just how well everything sounds in it. One thing I really like about the way Synology did this is going to be that they came out of the gates here with an NDAA and TA compliant camera. Now, I like Amcrest and we use a lot of them, but we do have clients that have compliance and those compliance means we are going to be using a much more expensive camera on that particular job. You can't use a lot of the Amcrest and other cameras I've talked about on this channel, but you can use Synology cameras. Now Synology only having two models is a pretty limited offering to start, but I think if this goes well and Synology does well in this market, they'll probably expand their offering. The compliance and hopefully the price falls below what a lot of those compliant cameras cost. It's going to undoubtedly be above what those other cameras such as Amcrest cost, but the integration you get and the compliance that's necessary, I think it might be a really good fit. One thing I did notice, speaking of the integration, is the ability to do firmware updates is really easy. So we did have a firmware update while we had it. I made sure to record the process because it was incredibly easy. Now, back to that integration part. I've got a whole video and a series of them linked down below on how to do different things with Synology Surveillance Station. But one of those things that can be a little bit cumbersome or complicated is setting up other cameras and their notifications. Now, the notifications being done in camera, such as object detection, whether it's vehicle, people, or cars, or any other option, you have to kind of go back and forth and get them lined up, so to speak, inside of Synology by logging into the camera and setting the options on a per camera basis. With the Synology cameras, you do this all right inside a surveillance station. So you check, check all the settings there, anything you change, and you can even change all the cameras at once. And when you're doing a larger camera install, this is nice having it all just integrated. So I can keep not only the firmware up to date, but any of the settings I want to change, I'm not running around logging into each individual camera. Not that it's hard to do. It all comes down to how long do you have to do this? And when you're charging the customer by the hour, I mean, they probably are looking for the least amount of time spent on there. So that's something that can actually be factored in the ease at which you set these cameras up. Now, the last thing I want to mention is the licensing. There isn't a license required when you use the Synology cameras. Now, for those of you that are not familiar with how Synology Surveillance Station is licensed, it is a permanent license or perpetual license. It is not something that is renewed every year and it's also transferable but it's not needed when you have Synology cameras. Now you can mix and match in Synology. You can use some of the cameras that require license like the Amcrest and the other brand cameras. Maybe when you have specific use cases for those and then you can put in the Synology cameras where you have use cases for those and you only got to buy a license for the non-Synology models and depending on the NVR. Now, as far as even further advanced detection, you can pair this with a DVA, but it's not 
required. So I have a review separately I've done of the DVA model, which has the deep video analytics. It's not necessary to pair this with those to make it work, but it will work with those and you get even more of the enhanced features of the DVA, but it also works with other cameras as well. Like I said, I have a whole video covering those particular systems. I love hearing from you and I also have a recommendation. My friend over at NAS compares to the more in-depth discussion on these cameras. He shares his thoughts on it. He's got an article and blog that's linked right at the top down below in the description. I definitely recommend you check that out. Let me know your thoughts and comments on Synology offering these cameras. And for a more in-depth discussion, hover my forums. Great way to reach out to me and interact. All right, and thanks.